All right, we've got our ridge cut here and I'm just gonna lay it out and I'll use it to transfer the lines of my layout onto the, the top plates over there. So conveniently, this is 48 inches long, which falls up the center, which is nice. So always when we're laying out our centers, we're, we're back half the thickness of whatever stock we're using. Uh, so in this case, it's three quarters of an inch back, putting my line and my X that way, and my same for here, and 48's right there. So I would go back three quarters, but in this case, my I'm gonna put a, an X there, as in there's a line there and my my stock's going on this side of it here because it is 48 and that's the very end right there. And we do want to have a rafter right at the end there, a common, uh, in order to facilitate our, uh, our tripod frame. So I'm just going to take this line and I'm going to transfer it around on the top and onto the other side so it makes my transfer over to my plates a lot easier and also gives me a plumb line when I'm installing my uh, commons. Okay, the ridge is laid out. Now I'm going to lay out the location of the, the ridge and find the location of my common rafters here. So just like before, we figured out what our span was, so it's 39 and a half. So I have to take half of that. So half of 30 is 15, half of, half of 30 is still 15, and half of nine is four and a half. One, two, three, four and a half. And half of a half is a quarter. So I am at 19 and three quarters, and just to confirm, I'll check that from the other side, 19 and three quarters. Draw that line across there. That's my center line, marking the center of this common rafter and the center of my ridge where it goes up there. I wanna mark back three quarters of an inch to put my actual side down so it gives me something to lay out. So as it's an inch and a half stock, I would like to have that. So there's my center line right there. And, and right here is my, my line for my X. We have our ridge all laid out. I'm gonna take it over and use all the lines that I have on here to transfer to the top plates. But before we do, I wanted to show you, I drew this red line on here to indicate the center lines of everything. So our commons are laid out to this center right here we shortened it on the level by three quarters of an inch, half the thickness of this stock right here. So when we do that to our side commons, the ones that come down here and here, we need to do it, we do it to the same thing to our end commons. And that's why we extended this ridge from its theoretical length by three quarters of an inch here and three quarters of an inch at the other end. So when we lay that out, we have to bear that in mind. So if you remember, it's 19 and three quarters to this line here. So I'm gonna measure out my 19 and three quarters along here. Right there. And I'll draw that line across. That line right there indicates the center of my first common rafter. So I need to step it back three quarters of an inch on that. So now I do have this square figured out. So I'll put that at the three quarter inch mark. I throw my line there, that's an X, where that's gonna go. So now, since I've already done the layout here on my ridge, I can see my red line there, my red line here. So I'm gonna flush that up right there, and I can transfer all my lines across just like this. And this, I'm marking the end of the ridge here. So my line goes this way, and X goes on the other side of the line. So it is important that I get those X's in there and I pay attention. Uh, if I was really wanting to be a smart guy, I'd probably measure back my inch and a half and throw a line down there so that I have both sides of my, uh, my layout marked, which is why they make these framing squares like this with the inch and a half. I can easily mark both sides of those lines as I go across here. my first one right here. I'll go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. 